Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, for the people who are learning machine learning, this will be a very interesting video because here I'm going to talk about the entire history of machine learning. We're going to see a lot of timelines, how the development actually happened, how machine learning evolved. Uh, we'll be talking about that from 1943s to 2022, right? And uh, uh, let me know whether any timeline that I'm actually reading, right? Do you know about that or not? Uh, and I will also be saying that whether I knew about these things or not, but this specific timeline will give you amazing idea about how entire machine learning evolved, okay? And definitely this is a must video for all the people who are learning about machine learning. This will just be giving you some general ideas how entirely machine learning evolved together, you know? So let's start with this. In 1943, uh, Mathematical Neural Network Modeling. Over here, logician Walter Pitts and neuroscientist Warren McCullers published the world's first mathematical modeling of a neural network to create algorithms that mimic human thought process. So every time when I say what is what is exactly deep learning, you know, <laughs> it is basically invented to mimic human brain. We really wanted to make machine learn like how we human beings learn, right? So I never knew about this, uh, about logician Walter Pitts and neuroscientist Warren McCullers. Let me know whether you knew about this or not. But about this particular timeline, when it went to 1950s, I knew, I know about this uh, Turing test. I've already read this long back. But again, the main aim of Turing test by Alan Turing was to convince, if a machine can convince a human being into believing that a machine is also a human, right? Then uh, I also read about this, you know, Arthur Samuel Checker's program. Uh, so Arthur Samuel wrote a program that had uh, for an IBM computer that had the capability to play checkers and improve each time it played. So just imagine guys. Okay, so that was somewhere in 1952s. Okay. Uh, then when we go to 1956, this I had no about it. John McCarthy invited many more very well known mathematicians, researchers and scientists to Dormot College where they brainstormed ideas on thinking machine for about to six to eight weeks. This event is considered the birthplace of artificial intelligence. Remember guys, see, I may, I, I think you have also never heard about this, but this is where the birth of artificial intelligence came into picture. Uh, 1957, I definitely know about this because whenever I teach about Perceptron, I definitely talk about Frank Rosenblatt. So Frank Rosenblatt attempted to design the first computer neural network called as Perceptron, which was built to receive visual inputs such as images and create outputs such as labels and categorization in response. So this is where that perceptron came into picture, you know, and probably uh, if you have attended some of my live sessions, I definitely talk about uh, Frank Rosenberg. Okay, so 1957, I definitely know about it. Now coming to 1963, uh, Donald Mickey developed a program called Menace, a matchbox edu uh, educable educable knots and cross engine, which had the capability to learn how to play a perfect game of tic-tac-toe. So that from that point of time, you know, now also we probably write programs uh, which can play tic-tac-toe, right? But in 1963, uh, this was there, right? I did not know about it, okay? 1967, nearest neighbor algorithm. The nearest neighbor algorithm granted computers the capability for basic pattern recognition and was used to plan routes for traveling salesmen. This is quite amazing. because Now also we learn about nearest uh, neighbor algorithm in machine learning. So this is somewhere in 1967, right? See guys, from here, so much amount of knowledge. If you go and just read about these people, right? Just imagine how much effort they have taken at that point of time when they did not have much resources also, right? It's quite interesting. Now in 1973, AI winter in 1973 as a response to Knight Hill report, the British government cut funding for artificial intelligence research in all of its university except for three. This event was called as AI winter. So nowadays also you'll be able to see some of the startups, you know, winter is coming, they'll say, right? So when, when they say the winter is coming, that basically means they are going to cut down the expenditure funding, something like that, right? And uh, this is where, uh, so winter is basically from there and AI winter basically means the government started cutting funding for artificial intelligence, okay? Then coming to 1971, uh, Kunihiko Fukushima recognition. So this released a work on Neo uh, Cognitron, which is a hierarchical multi-layered type of artificial neural network. See, from here, the multi-layer neural network, artificial neural network actually came into picture, right? Um, used for pattern recognition, such as handwritten character recognitions and all. Then 1981, explanation biased learning. I never knew about it. Uh, Hoffield network, it's a type of recurrent neural, artificial neural that was first described in William Lett in 1974. Mm -hmm. I had no about it, no idea about it. 
uh, net talk uh, then you have parallel distributed processing you should definitely read about this q learning i think this is the first place where um, reinforcement algorithm they started taking it you know that seeks the best action to take into a current state so 1989 q learning i have definitely read about uh, christopher watkins uh, uh, coming to the gerald tesoro and back common here no idea 1995 you can see support vector machines right this is an amazing algorithm altogether 1996 ibm's deep blue in ibm's blue a chess playing pro computer program developed by ibm defeated the reigning champion of the chess at time gary Kars uh, kasparov so just imagine from here it basically started where a uh, application is able to beat uh, you know playing chess for uh, against a world champion just imagine this is where amazing amazing things have actually happened and that is why we consider a so powerful then in 1997 lstm recurrent neural network came into existence this i have already re read about it and i hope everybody knows about lstm rnn then we have mnist data set this is amazing because here the computer vision part became very very popular and if you don't know Jan Lacoon, he is uh, the student of Jeffrey Hinton. He was a student of Jeffrey Hinton. And um, this person actually released the data set known as MNIST, that is characters. And he tried to implement some amazing um, character recognition with the help of CNN. Okay. Then in 2002, Torch is released as a first open source library in 2006. Uh, Jeffrey Hinton and deep learning. So Jeffrey Hinton coined the term deep learning to describe algorithm that helps computer recognize different types of objects and text characters in pictures and videos. So this is where deep learning started came into existence. 2006, they started talking about deep learning, right? Then you have Netflix prize. I hope everybody's heard about this. They actually launched a competition to wherein they really, uh, they, the main task was to increase the user recommendation. And that is where it came into picture. ImageNet invented a large database to aid visual object recognition. I've also heard about this, read about this. Kinect, uh, Microsoft released the Kinect motion sensing input device for its Xbox 360 gaming. I've also heard about it. Launch of Kaggle actually happened on 2010. Uh, and it is a platform for machine learning competition. Then you came with 2012 ImageNet classification. I've also spoken about it many number of times in my videos. 2011 IBM Watson beat two time champ two champions on the Jeopardy game show. So understand now AI is beating champions, right? AlphaGo, uh, but before that in 2014, uh, you can see Google Brain launch. The Google Brain AI project was launched. In 2014, Facebook deep face. Most of the image tagging that usually happens in Facebook is because of this Facebook deep face, right? Then you also have Google Sibyls. Uh, this is a last scale machine learning project for predictive user recommendation. In 2016, AlphaGo, I hope everybody has heard about it. They beat a professional human Go player, right? Becoming the first computer program to do so, right? So this was in 2016. Then after that, you know, GPT-3, uh, sorry, GPT-2, GPT-3. Then after that, you have GitHub Copilot and many more things have keep on inventing, right? And I think after 2016, uh, you have a lot of things like dal e dal e2 you know so different different things have actually come in ai but the most interesting thing will be between 1943 to at least 1995 and remaining all i think many of you have actually heard it right so as a machine learning engineer as a person who is learning data science you should definitely know this this is just a video to show all these things the link of this particular article will be given in the description of this particular video i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one all bye bye